Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on Drakmir, my level 45 cleric, and we are killing specters in Farod. This is a great place for a cleric to camp because of the fact that you can just use your undead spells, and it usually takes about three casts to kill the mob, gives you about 15 to... 20 minutes before the next spawn maybe less i i really didn't count i killed the mobs when i knew that i had enough mana one of the great things about killing these is that they drop loot that's worth money between 12 and 16 plant for the sides that uh depending on whatever uh version it is that you get and um you can also get gems, words, runes, all of that. And sometimes you'll have wizards coming through or uh, necromancers coming through looking for specific words or runes. But I usually uh, didn't loot them unless uh, I knew it was something that was rare. Like uh, there's a rune of Beza, I think is what it's called. I did loot that. That is a, a rare rune, and um, I just know that because of my wizard. I, I held down three locations. It's one, two, and three, and then someone else was holding down four through seven. Now, later on, I actually let a troll take the outside spawn because that's the only thing they wanted. I told them I was going to be leaving soon and so they could have the whole thing. They said that, uh, no, they only wanted the outside, so I just let them have it because they were already there. Rather not have them have to wait to get experience when I'm pretty well sticking to one or two mobs at a time anyway. Uh, it takes me a good amount of time to get the mana back after each kill, so two mobs is fine for me. And you can hold down more if you're a necromancer, most likely. I was able to get through uh, this level a whole lot faster by coming here and soloing, though I guess I could have found a group in City of Mist. This seemed like it was a little bit faster, and it was more in my pace than it was anybody else's. One of the things I wanted to make sure of whenever I made my cleric is that I'm not held down, or I'm not bound to be in a group all the time. Though I do like grouping, I like healing, I also like the, the freedom of being able to solo as well. And so I soloed here, I soloed in Lower Guck, and I've done some other camps as well. Just uh, something that allows you to be more than just a healing machine sitting on your butt all the time. I mean, I play a wizard, I'm used to it, but the thing with the cleric is that... Um, this is a quote from AC Gamer, is that while a wizard chooses when they want to cast, a cleric doesn't get that choice. They have to cast or the group fails because of the fact that you're going to run out of, um, you're going to, you, you, your people are going to run out of health. And so one of the things I've noticed while I've been groups is that I'm dealing with having to take on, um, take on healing a lot of people in groups instead of actually healing a main tank though that's going to change later on i know that right now that t main tanks or warriors specifically just don't have that ability to be able to hold taunt over say a shadow knight or even myself if i really wanted to but i don't <laughs> but uh i know that Warriors, uh, level 50, everything changes, their taunts get stronger, the equipment that they're using allows them to hold aggro a whole lot better, and um, so later on I won't have to deal with that. But as he said, um, the wizard chooses when they want to cast, the cleric is pushed to cast because of the fact that people are dying. And that will run you out of mana a whole lot sooner. So, soloing is kind of nice. I don't have to worry about other people's problems at the time. I can actually just hold down my own and, um, and then go on about my day. That's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to show you. I think the end of the video is just showing you uh, me 
uh, selling the stuff that I got. I think it's really rapid fire though. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.